Listen to this particular video very well. I think a lot of people need to learn some sense Hello. from inside this video. Hello. There has not been a lot of Nigerians you know. Nigeria have been angry since how many days concerning the statement that Reverend Father Mbaka made about uh, the upcoming Nigerian president. Peter Obi, His Excellency Peter Obi. Yes, my people, the internet has been on fire for so many days now concerning this particular statement. So what start, started all these insults and all these accusations? Hmm. This video, I think you have to please take it serious and please mind the way things happen on this end because people are so, so dangerous and very, very wicked, you know. So according to the information, according to the story, we sit down our own they carry and come. According to the story, my lovely people, 2018 stroke, 2019, during the time that Atiku Abubakar was uh, contesting for president, so he wanted Peter Obi to be the vice president. So I think uh, by then, uh, the father, Reverend Father Mbaka was doing a bazaar in his church. I think they have some activities, some things, there are projects going on. So he, they, he invited Peter Obi, whereby Peter Obi went to the church, as you are seeing it in this particular video. So when Peter Obi got to the church, Reverend Father Mbaka was trying to let him know that he should break all that he should drop something, uh, money, and uh him. -huh. But, oh ah, gosh, Reverend Father Mbaka, you follow our hands, sha? That is not the way to do it now. Please, you still, you still call and go, you know, talk to Ramin Newell ways that at least a uh hand -huh, ingo still understand it's not just like that say person will just carry money come the true way he's not one of those people that use money for unnecessary unnecessary things you know uh -huh, because we have seen his records he's somebody that is so so serious he doesn't use less money he respects money a lot mm -hmm. And then for you to be saying he's a stingy man, we learned that he even donated the uh, hundred million to one organization, uh, one church like that to build the nursing and the midwifery home and so forth, home, for, home, and so on and so forth. So I can imagine calling him a stingy man because of the story. So what happened was that when uh, uh, Peter Obiga to Reverend Father Mbaka Church, and then Reverend Father Mbaka was uh, trying to tell him that he should have he have to drop something at least give out money. It's just like you are saying that somebody should pay tax or give it that sacrifice. For me, it's like he wanted him to do sacrifice, you know. But he did not pre pre present it to him in a manner that the 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 man that is a Peter Obi will understand. So it's like uh, you are just asking me to drop money. Is that how somebody will walk uh, around with money and just carry money all about and just drop money in the church? So the man was like, no, tell me what you want to use the money for. Get, tell me any project that you have on hand so that I can join hands together with you and we can finish up the program. But uh, Reverend Father Mbaka doesn't want the money for any program according to the way he presented it. So he wanted the money cash and he wanted the money like Life in his own power, so uh, the the Peter of his excellency refused that. No, that is not the way he you he drops money. But you can see at the end of the video, it's like that we are bringing some black cello film, some black bulletin bag. Like it's, it's like there is money inside, but I think they call the video there. So to, to call the whole thing short, uh, when uh, this particular his excellency Peter of refused to. Uh, give uh, Reverend Father Mbaka money. So Reverend Father Mbaka the next Sunday went to his church as you can see it also in this video and start also uh, insulting uh, Peter Obida is a, is a stingy man. He doesn't want to, you know. Uh -huh. So, sorry, uh, the next Sunday uh, I think a lot of people insulted Reverend Father Mbaka. A lot of people called him, you know, threatening him or so on and so forth. That he sh the way he presented that that man, that West, well, you know, he somehow that he, he disrespected the, his Excellency Peter Obi, and he have to make an apology, immediate apology. So that the next Sunday, uh, Reverend Father Mbaka went to his church, as you can see it in this video. So he made an apology, and he said that that after he made the apology, now everything calm down since that 2018 19 nobody you know and he warned Atiku that if Atiku did not drop Peter Obi that Atiku is not going to win that election and really Atiku did not win the election so he was trying to tell Atiku I told you to drop Peter Obi because Peter Obi did not do the sacrifice drop that money for him so he went on and called Atiku Abubakar telling him to drop Peter Obi as the vice president that if he refused he's not going to win the nigerian presidency 2019 so that was what happened atiku abubakar faced the presidency
Now this particular year, 2022, and Ifan Obi is one of the candidates, the presidential candidates of 2023 presidency in Nigeria. I think they have started elections now, so things are happening. So now Peter Oe, that is a Reverend Father Mbaka, now came back reminding Peter Obi and telling the whole world that he asked Peter Obi to break some colors, do some sacrifices in his church, and Peter Obi refused. That Peter Obi is a very stingy man, and he is not going to win this election, whether he likes it or not. Mm, my people, as the man just said, put and let's see how he take, you know, put the statement, because <laughs> the words, when he stay put that statement, eh, he shocktalized all everybody. Everybody shocktalized everybody. Yes, so, yes. So let's Go on, he said, according to the the writing, the former uh, uh, former Anambra state governor cannot, he said, this is what uh, Father Mbaka said on that day that he was, you know, bringing up the issues again, telling the world that uh, Peter Obi is a stingy man. He said, the former Anambra uh, state governor cannot win the next year election, gen next year general election, because he is uh, stingy. It, and he, spe he was speaking uh, this in his program uh, that he made in Enugu. So the cleric maintained that it would be impossible for Peter Obi to become Nigerian president, adding that an old man president is better than a stingy young man. So we don't understand who is the new old man president and the stingy one. So he continued to say that a stingy man that cannot give people his money with this hunger ravaging the land and you are saying he is the one you want you want to die of hunger are you people in sin where is the holy spirit he continued said it is now that article is seriously contesting for president now that he is contesting without peter obi because he told him to drop peter obi before now article is now picking the if and yokowa as the vice president not peter obi and peter obi said it's like god have put that is a you have put you on your your seat you deserve the presidency not even the vice because you are president already so uh mbaka continued to say that it is now that uh uh, Atiku Abubakar is serious. He said, we want somebody that is serious or let Peter comes here to kneel. And he was, he's telling Peter Obi to come to his church, Adoration Saint Ministry, to come and lead and, and beg him before he can release the cause. He said the cause in that Peter Obi is already cursed, that he can never win any election. So he said, unless Peter Obi come to his church and lead down and beg him, hmm, that if he becomes president, he will close down this uh, the ministry. What are you going to do? What are you doing? Is uh, what we are doing is spiritual. So he is saying that Peter Obi should come and lean down and beg, and that if if uh, Peter Obi becomes the president, meaning that Peter Obi will terrorize him, he will close down their ministry, the adoration ministry, and uh, that what they are doing is spiritual. So you see, it's like something spiritual sacrifice, wanting or not, but. Man is not God, my my lovely people. So listen again, he said, a good man is better than a young, wicked man. He's calling Peter will be wicked because he refused to bribe him. So he said, Peter will be is going nowhere as far as God is alive. He is not God. Father Baka is not God. If it was once a representative, it is not someone like Peter will be. I should not have talked, but I saw my video going around everywhere as if uh, mm. uh, Father Mbaka wholeheartedly came out and apologized. Remember that he said that that apology that he did the, son, the, the next Sunday after he begged that money, that that, was, that apology was done that duress, that he never meant to apologize. So he said now nah, that they are using the apologies like uh, they, they are just bringing him down, you know, like another thing is maybe, you know, that he has apologized, Peter will be this, Peter will be that. Now, he said, no, I don't apologize wholeheartedly. It was out of duress. I had to obey my bishop. He said the bishop of his church was the one that asked him to go and apologize to Peter Obi. I, I, in obedience, I had to. It is not of my violation. Uh, my volition. I did it because I am a Catholic priest. My bishop said, do it my own. Is yes, my lord. I did not say he, Obi, is a bad man. I say he's a stingy man. A hungry man wants somebody, someone that is generous. The man has so much money, but he is, I, me, myself. But that, that money 
will not be useful to him. I am very happy now that I have spoken out. That apology is a poisonous cause against Peter Obi. He said that the, the, the first apology that he did, that, that was a cause for Peter Obi. Hmm. That Peter will be so, is so rich and he's not, he's not going to use the money for anything. My God, you are not God. Man is not God. So you see how all these things started and how the whole pro That is why you need to pay very good attention to this video because there are a lot of people that might beg you something or might ask you something or might even see you as a real somebody even when if maybe you, they ask you something you, you, you didn't give to them or maybe you don't have it that time they'll just see you are they don't know your problems they don't know they don't know your project nothing or maybe you didn't give them now they will, you will not become bad person there are some other people also that even if they ask you the thing, please help me with this kind of thing. You say, okay, wait, later I will give you. Or what are you going to use the money for? Tell me, let me just buy that thing for you. They will just keep malice for you. This is how witches used to keep people. Just, just bear grudges for you without nothing. It means that you have enemy that you don't even know. You will not know that the person is angry. He is barely bearing grudges on because of that. He's anxious, you know, because of what he asks you or what you have. But because that person is wicked, he will just take it as if you have done other thing, other worse thing to him. You have killed him or you have stolen from him or it was all one thing or the other. In fact, this world is very, very wicked. And Reverend Father Mbaka, I feel so, so disappointed in you. I believe that your, your singing, your music is, is more important for you now, you know, rather than all this type of preaching. Because I can remember the time that you, you used to sing a bube monster. So does your music, it move us a lot, you know. When, if I'm listening to your music on YouTube or, you know, I feel so, so happy because it gives me joy. It makes me, even when, when some people don't even understand or when you don't even understand what the music is saying, only the Holy Spirit alone that will be coming down with thunder and fire, that will be boom, 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 fire, fire, you know, it's very, it's wonderful. I think that it, it, it will even be more better for you to go back into your music than be preaching all this kind of uh, hatred speech on social media because I believe you are a man of God. When somebody did something to you, do you something, do you bad, I believe you are the people that were supposed to preach forgiveness. But you are not showing any good example as a priest, as a pastor, as a bishop, as whatever, as a prophet, as a man of God, you are not showing any good example. You are just acting as a witch. This is the kind of mind that witches and wizards they have. They don't have the heart of forgiveness and that can be jealous of you even when they know that that thing is not for them. Just for your own thing, they will be jealous. You can't just come out and ask people money just like that. This man is a reasonable somebody. It's not among those ones that are throwing. That is why you can see in that your country there is bribe. Everywhere everybody take bribe. Even your airport, nowhere is safe. There is no security anymore. Nowhere is safe anymore. Because of the kind of people like you. Had he been his palace now, he's going to palace it to do, to do something. We saw okay, let him break, break cola. Okay, because who don't have money now? Many of them will not go to palace because they will not see money to break cola. But the church, again, you still want somebody to come to the church and break cola. That is why some of you are complaining of your congregations that you don't have people, you don't have people, you don't have members. Because your members don't have money to break cola every Sunday. It's not every day that somebody will go to church and, off, and do offering. If he has, yes. But if you don't have them, there is no problem. And it's not that when you want to do good, it's by force. Do really that you have to give that money for you to your pastor. Your pastor will have to use it to do that good. You can do good. First of all, even with your own self, do it straight. If you want to give somebody something in your church, your members, your friends, your neighbors, do it by yourself. You can do it by yourself without even giving to a pastor. Because a lot of all these pastors, many of them are using those monies for themselves. They are not, they are not using it for, for the church members. That is why you can see that some pastors can be driving jets, driving big, big cars, while their members are begging for food. These people don't have hearts. So for them, back out, we are so, so disappointed in you. You know, we are so, so disappointed in you. I can't imagine that. Thank you, my lovely people. Let me just drop this video here. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, Hamless TV, please do subscribe. Click the notification bell. What are you waiting for? Follow this our page, Joyce Dan and Hamless TV also. Please share our video, like our video, comment. Maybe we see, waiting today for your mind. Thank you and remain blessed. Bye for now.